I'm a photographer myself, and I, um, I, I used to work with a very old technique. Um, I'm using um, uh, an old camera, and um, I'm shooting uh, on film. And um, this work um, is about the potential of a place. It's, about, it's a special place. It's actually a former air, airport in, in Berlin. And um, what I'm interested in is to, to try to figure out and to show um, the interaction between people and the place. That is my, the first thing I'm trying to, to figure out these things. And the pictures are about a certain mood, a certain mood on, on a certain place. And actually, what's interesting is um, this airport is closed right now. It's not operated, and um, people, um, the inhabitants of, of the city and the area started to reclaim the place. And that's, to me, it's very unique and very, very contemporary in a way because people are started to reclaim the place. And that's what I'm trying to, to highlight in a way. Um, actually, I'm, uh, I'm very interested in, in landscape photography and architecture as well. And um, I, um, I started to, uh, for my work, because this, that's just uh, um, an excerpt, just a part of my work. The work is even bigger in a way. And um, I started to, to photograph different places. And there, there's another interesting place which is nearby to Berlin. It's 60 kilometers, kilometers south of Berlin. And um, it's a huge, a very huge hall um, where you can, it's, it's sort of a leisure center where people can bath and stuff. And it's completely artificial. And I did a, a second series um, uh, which dealt with that place. And I tried to show as well the potential of the place and how people react in the place. Smart Investment is a real estate uh, company and we sell uh, real, uh, apartments, houses, uh, office space or uh, ateliers in Fabriboland, which is a gated community. Uh, it's a city I created in my mind and I design everybody I know and uh, all companies I use, every place I've been, I uh, transform it into this pay, uh, designed town called Fabriboland. This is Fabriboland, Fabriboland. And for example, we have here uh, the Ritz Amelia Resort. Uh, these are holiday apartments you can uh, buy. And uh, that's the house. So it lo looks like an old-fashioned hotel. So the architecture of Fabriboland is uh, a little bit like Disney. So it remembers the good old times. So everything is perfect and nice. Uh, in Fabriboland. So you can buy uh, one of these apartments in this holiday resort. The holiday resort is located here. Or another example is uh, the Red Factory where this uh, exhibition takes place. So I have also the Red Factory uh, that's here. Uh, that's just the presence of Fabriboland, so I'm still painting it. For example, we have the uh, the exhibition room of Schedhalle, it's now empty, but uh, you know, uh, at the next two weeks I'll, I will fill it up uh, with, with all the exhibition st stuff.
yes, I think the the first idea was to bring to bring the the different rooms together to 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 one whole exhibition. So we want to define a, a place between between the separate um, exhibition rooms and to create some kind of market in the in the backyard um, in um, on the on the area of the Rote Fabrik. So um, it's yeah it's it's. Maybe the, there are two, two, two pieces of the whole work. It's, it's, maybe it's only, it's only a roof and it's only a, a stair, so it's not so much, much you need to, to, to create, create some kind of market in, in, this, in this backyard. Um, one of the, the major aims was to, to create a space uh, where people can gather during the exhibition and uh, find a place to rest and, um, I don't know, contemplate about the works or whatever. That was one of the major aims of our project. 